Pito, this victory is really shocking everybody as he is about to emerge. A new report has exposed Bola Metinimbu. A new report just exposed Bola Metinimbu. And um, of course, the court case is happening on Monday and everybody will be involved. Breaking news, considering the information that was shared, P2B has become another institution to learn from. Breaking news, considering the information that was shared, it is stated that Bola Metinimbu did not emerge as the winner of the 2023 presidential election. It is mentioned that those who announced him as the winner have allegedly failed to provide evidence supporting his victory. Furthermore, according to the statement, it is suggested that even Tinubu himself acknowledges that he did not win the election. This thing played out in court and we saw it yesterday. If this is your first time of coming across the Tankraya, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to share, do not forget to follow. Most importantly, like our videos because according to YouTube and Facebook policy, the more you like our videos, the more they have recommended to other subscribers that are not yet subscribed to this channel. Now, we played out yesterday that a Labour Party came to the court with massive evidence, massive evidence that is unbearable, that it's even the INEC a respondent, APC respondent, Tinibu Shetima respondent, all were all upset because the professor that came to the court and the Arise TV <coughs> witness that came to the court came with a bombarded evidence and they couldn't escape any of it. They couldn't escape any of it. There is another big turn, another big side of the story. P2B has continued to spread this victory across and I must say that eventually mistakes must be made because they are now saying that the evidence is too much. The judge asked Tinimbu Shatima lawyer, what is the evidence in your hand? How do you prove that all this document that was submitted by Labour Party is not true? There was nothing tangible they, they could say. Nothing tangible at all. And we are coming to that very result to find out that these people entered that place to mess up the whole system. We, to, we, 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 they, they, the court had to find out that these people entered that place to you know, jeopardize the struggle of the people. But that is not just the beginning. The beginning starts with what it is. That's where it is. The beginning starts with what it is. So in the court yesterday, they asked Tinimbu's uh, lawyer, make your statement known. Prove to us that your candidate, who was declared the president of Nigeria, won the election. But of course, as usual, they couldn't prove it. Now, when the professor was coming, we, we, we brought out the evidence yesterday, there were several questions that he was thrown at. Were you paid to do this? Were you paid to do this? He said he wasn't paid. That everything he's saying was a kind of witness. He witnessed everything. And the INEC lawyer said INEC respondent the INEC counselor said that uh, he was trained to waste time these people are already seeing that the, the 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 positivity or the chances that Peter B is going to win this election is closer than they expect very close very closer than they expect but who should be who should be chosen how do they handle this? How do they handle this? The Arise TV witness came out and saw massive rigging. And he brought it before the court. The flash where Mahmoud was saying that he's assuring Nigerians that this IRF is going to be transmitted properly. Yes. He saw that this result will be transmitted properly, and yet you have to present 18,000 documents to the court. 
how far do you want it to be? You think people will just come out and begin to look at you in a very, you know, uh, uh, unexplainable way. Mahmoud is not having it. Whoever that knows Mahmoud knows that Mahmoud is, is going to head to jail. And that's what is going to definitely play out. At the end of the day, that is what is going to play out. Because Mahmoud has proven to Nigerians that he sold his conscience to sell Nigeria. So with every evidence that is surrounding the court, whatever that is happening in court now, is a direct proof that P2B is heading to vic towards victory. And that victory, we must get. It's a question of time. It's a question of timing. So the Labour Party team who are now charged and waiting to always prove because at the end of the day they may end up wanting to uh, you know feasible or destabilize the judiciary and by the time they try doing it it's going to be a whole lot of waste of time strong waste of time Where they will end up seeing the neg ne negative impact. Of course, what I what I'm seeing from everything I explain is that Tinubu wants more time. He wants more time. He knows that there is a case in the office. He wants more time. He needs more time. More time to continue in the path that he's he's playing out now. But whatever time that he's he's looking for now, he may not get it anymore. So the evidence on ground and the evidence we have is already making them think twice. It's already making them think twice. So if Tinimbu Shatima lawyer cannot stand up or the INE cannot stand up to prove to Nigerians how did Tinimbu become the president in the first place? then a lot of mistakes will be made. Eventually, a lot of mistakes will be made because they're already making it and the judges are already pointing them out. They're already making the mistake and the judges are pointing them out. So it's left for them to prove to Nigerians that indeed the man who is sitting in the Asurok won this election. Because if it is not proven, it won't really smell nice. It won't smell nice because the way it's going, Evidence is overloaded, and that is the, that is just what Labour Party wants to 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 achieve. That is what they want to act, actualize. And once they are done doing it, doing doing it, the rest is going to be a story. Thanks for supporting. Peace.